Jim Russi is the president of Auto Finance at Ally. Tim, great to have you here to get a chance to hear great, what you see going on in the industry. Uh, we just saw the Fed raise interest rates. What are your look, outlook for the rest of the year? Well, I think a pretty you know the consensus three to four rates throughout the year. So this one was pretty much anticipated by most participants in the industry. And the marketplace tends to react ahead of the announcement anyway. So a lot of that, those increases have been baked in. But with the future increases too, you think that's there, been there's baked some in? that have been baked in, but who knows, right? It only goes out so far in terms of view. But uh, again, that's a little bit different dynamic for all of us, John. I mean, you know, we've had a relatively stable interest rate environment, so we're all learning to, to be able to deal with uh, those those increases in our business. Here we are at NADA. What are you picking up? What's the buzz that you're hearing about that affects your business? First of all, uh, great attendance here. Peter Welch and his team have done an amazing job. I mean, I, you know, the halls are full, people seem upbeat, there's great product as we go around. Um, so I, I'm looking at it as all upside right now. That's great, I, I generally agree with you that the, the buzz on the floor here is really good. What's your outlook for the industry this year? I get a you know, little bit less than it was last year, so a little bit off the peak, but that's on the new car side, mm -hmm. right? You add the used car side to the equation, and you know, it's still a great level. I mean, there's 40 million used cars with the about 17 million new cars that get sold. You know, so whether or not it's 56 or 57 million, that's still a big number to, in number of transactions that we're all involved in. It really is. A lot of companies use NADA to announce new things that they're doing. How about Ally? Oh yeah, we've got uh, our our Clear Lane product is in, in the in the booth. We launched uh, Clear Match, which was a new product underneath that that uh, line of business. We also got a good good friend of ours in Drive Motors that uh, you know they're helping us figure out how to operate more digitally with the dealers and the deal you know, the dealers themselves yeah. being more more savvy digitally to be able to give that customer that experience that they're looking for, which we, is really a tight. Fast, seamless, easy, anywhere, anytime is my key buzzword. <laughs> That's the way the consumers want to do it. We have to adjust our sales methodology, our product placement methodology to be able to catch that consumer at that point of sale. Boy, if I had to describe the show in one word of change that I'm seeing, it's the digitization of the retail That's environment. That's a hard word to say. It is, it? but I got it out. <laughs> you got it out, all right, good for you. Yeah, well, what's your sense? How uh, adaptive is the dealer body you know do you see people digging in their heels or rushing to this new change uh, i think everybody's looking for the the way to service customers the best whatever that is mm -hmm. and you know the consumers that are out there right now are being trained to operate mobile mm -hmm. and so we got to do things more in a mobile fashion more maybe not at the point of fulfillment a lot of prep beforehand i used the example uh, recently you know when you're you know if you want in starbucks you can order and pay ahead of time and your copy sitting waiting for you versus waiting in the long Starbucks lines. What a brilliant move, right? So it cuts the lines down, fulfills, makes customers happy, they're in a hurry. I think the orders are pretty savvy about all this stuff. They don't resist change, they're just looking for the best change. And these, you know, they're small business owners, they have to make wise investments in their businesses. But I, you know, most dealers we talk to are incredibly digitally savvy mm -hmm. and are just looking for the best way to get it done. And, and that seems to be a real trend that's going on too, is allowing consumers to do a lot of their paperwork from a finance standpoint before they get to the dealership. Sure. Is that a trend that you're really seeing increase? Sure, that's our, our, our clear match product. I and mean, yeah. we're gonna send them in with a, an approval. Yeah, so that, cut steps out of what would happen traditionally in the dealership. Doesn't mean it's bad for the dealer, Does it's great for the dealer in the sense that happy consumers are the ones that are in and out as fast as they can, they possibly can. If they want to stay longer, it's all great. I mean, you know, they're, they're, the dealerships are really, you know, the investments the dealers have made in the dealerships are very comfortable places. And those consumers that want to shop at that pace, great. Those that, you know, have some place to be and, you know, have a window of time or, just in general in their life, want to do things ahead of time, and then just fulfill at the place. Mm -hmm. the de I think again, great for the dealers. You know, they don't want to line people up in the dealership. They want to get them in and out. That's right, right. Like like you said, get it turned around real quick. Absolutely, that's what makes it makes great experience on the consumer. Great job on the dealer. They can sell more cars. Real good, Tim Rossi. Thanks so much for your time. Hey, Jack, very thank interesting. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Who's that? Oh, that's Becky from Ally. 
She helps with everything from auto finance to F&I to pretty much everything else. Oh, and our wacky inflatable guy's broken. We'll do anything, seriously anything, to help your dealership. Ally, do it right.